Welcome to Pipeline Effects University. Today we're going to be looking at worker locking and scheduling. In this video I'm going to show you how to have full control over your farm. This is useful if you want to have workstations come online at night and then be turned off at a certain time. You can also give artists the power to turn off their machines from the farm should they be staying back beyond the scheduled times. With Cube open, let's go to the Workers tab. If you can't see a Workers tab, you might need to activate it in the Preferences. We'll just scroll down and there's a tick box. Make sure that it's ticked and you should be able to see the Worker tab. You can see here I have two idle unlocked workers. With a right click, let's go through some of the options. You can see here we have lock. This locks the worker from the farm, meaning it will take on no more work. It will also be displayed as yellow in the GUI. Here we have unlock. This makes the worker available to receive jobs on the farm and it will be displayed as white. Lock and purge is different to the above as it will terminate all the work that the worker is currently working on instantly. This means the frames that the worker was working on will be lost. Partially unlock unlocks the desired amount of slots or CPU cores for that machine, leaving the rest locked. This is useful if you want to leave some CPU cores of an artist's workstation available to the farm. Schedule locking. This brings up a window showing the time and days of the week. You can multiply select these and by pressing space you will block these times out making the workers not available. Also you can purge jobs when locking the worker. This means it will terminate the work instantly. With a locked worker selected in the properties tab you can see the locking schedule. This is a string of characters to say when the worker is available and when it's not. These actions can also be done by command line. You can see on Mac it's in Applications, PFX, Cube, Bin, QB Lock. With the flag minus minus help, it'll display all the options for using QB Lock. This has been done on OS X, but the options are almost exactly the same and the locations can be found as such. Here are a few examples of how to use QB Lock. You can also set up automatic scripts to lock and unlock workers based on the user's login or logout. This is useful if you want to have a system where when a user goes home and logs out, their machine becomes a worker on the farm. For more information on login and logout scripts for different operating systems, go to docs.pipelineeffects.com. Search for how to implement locking and unlocking. Should an artist find that their machine has become part of the farm but they're still working, there's an application called QB Locker. This can be installed individually on each machine or is also part of Artist View. It gives you a quick glance of what your machine's currently working on and you can use the slider to unlock or lock slots. You can also choose to purge the jobs should you want your machine to be available immediately. 